Hey everybody, welcome back to Flight Simulator 2020. It's going to take a while to not want to say X-Plane 11, but we're going to go check out the Orbix Burbank scenery. Just downloaded it, and oh my god, it looks amazing. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to... Uh, we're here at John... No, we're not at John Wayne either. Orbix does amazing stuff, and this Burbank scenery is insane. So we're over at Agua Dulce, which is Lima 70, uh, just north of Burbank. I wanted to fly into Burbank rather than just load up at it. Um, kind of a more fun reveal for me. So if you want to just skip ahead to see what it looks like, just skip ahead. If you're watching live, you can't do that because we're going to go fly there and have a great time uh, checking out the San Fernando Valley. And then here we go. Okay. So we're in the default 172, and we're going to get the lights coming on. Did I, did I even set the transponder? I don't think I did. Lights are coming on. Transponder is off. I mean, none of this crap matters. Lights, camera, action. There we go. This is a scenery simulator right now. You keep pressing the skip button. Yeah, that would be... If you get it to work, B2, let me know how my landing goes. <laughs> All right, now unfortunately they completely, and I, I shouldn't even say they because nobody touched this airport. Um, unfortunately, Agua Dulce is butchered. Um, it is a very cute airport and it looks like nothing right now. <laughs> Which attempt? Oh no. I blew multiple landings at Burbank. Spoiler alert, I don't know if that creates a rip in time. 55 hey, and rotate. Bird, whoa, Russ, the pilot guy, thank you so much for the uh, subscription. Welcome, welcome aboard. We'll, we'll wave to the old guys in the hangars. God, those buildings just look terrible. I won't even, I'm not even going to look down. I don't want to, I don't even want to look at it. First thing, and this is not a, um, I bring this up scenery wise because it um, points to maybe some incorrect data. There are not <laughs> this many trees in this area. It's like basically desert. So that is kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on AI. You're supposed to know that this airport is a little cutie. That airport holds a special place in my heart because that is the first airport that Julia and I flew to when I became a real life pilot. Uh, are the buildings correct? The buildings could not be any less correct. <laughs> but we're about to fly into an airport where the buildings are going to be absolutely correct. So what I'm gonna do first is land on runway eight. So we're gonna enter a left base for runway eight uh, and then taxi to Watch depart runway, I don't remember, 2526, I don't think, I don't know, whatever it is. Iowa, welcome, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Uh, that's the, that is the, the, um, the landing and departure that I did when I, when I went to Burbank. That way I'll at least have a little bit of an idea of, um, from my experience, what it looks like. And then we'll check out the terminals and everything around to see what it looks like if you've been there. Stevo Sierra 81 thank you very much for following. Welcome. We are on our way from Agua Dulce, just north of the San Fernando Valley, to Burbank to go check out the, the new Orbix Burbank scenery courtesy of Hawks. I really wish this view was better. It's just, like I don't, when I zoom in, I don't want it to, like I want to be able to look around. Just, there's no reason that that should be taking up this bottom half of the screen. It's very weird. All right, so now it looks like the data for the, um, the terrain is, is a little bit more accurate. Those trees are gone. I mean, you can just see how many trees that's loading up for some reason. 
this is actually what it looks like. Like it's barren, deserty, kind of flat and stuff. <laughs> Where's the rock? It was there, um, and it was just kind of covered in trees and stuff. Uh, yeah, Zodius dropped it to 3,500 and uh, reverted back to uh, Tuesday settings. And it seems to be running great, knock on wood. Keep staring at the four white dots. Yeah. Where is it? It's on this side. You can tell at what time I record these when, you, when you've got the, the sun coming in. That will be gone in a few in a few minutes as the sun goes down. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Odious. Yeah, it seems to be running running pretty smooth right now. Uh, let's let's hope that that uh, that we hang on to that. Yeah, these freaking little notifications. I don't I don't want that there. <laughs> I don't want it. Yeah, I this is going to this is going to look awesome. I'm excited for you guys to see this. If you haven't already, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen either other streams or videos or or pictures, but it it does look pretty amazing. So let's do turn on the autopilot. We'll get on heading and altitude mode. Just don't want to hand fly at the moment. Enjoy, enjoy the view. There we go, okay. I do wish there was a zoom. That would be nice. It's going to be great to get some liveries in here as well. Blackout curtain. See, I like having the the light come in. I do have curtains up, but yeah, it's my my setup. I mean, you guys have all seen my setup. It's it's a little bit uh, Jenksville. You can get a little little GoPro shot there. The tail cam. Oh, no. There we go. There's the tail. Okay, let's get let's get tail cam. Tail cam shot. Pretty good. What's up, Chris? Let's do now. Now let's get uh, go for our uh, Insta 360 cam. Wow, that looks pretty good too. Uh, are those step hills, farms, vineyards? I'm not sure actually what those are. Um, those right there, that is uh, development. So I don't know if that's what you were um, looking at, but yeah, those are housing developments. Um, Chris, it looks it looks like it did. It looks like it did. Um, if I didn't get a notification, Chris, thank you for the two month sub 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 subscription. Thank you, Chris. All right, so this is um, God. I'm blanking on the name of, of this pass. Um, uh, somebody, somebody, yell it, yell it at me. Um, uh, what the hell is the name of it? New Hall Pass. That's right. New Hall Pass, uh, and this goes from Santa Clarita 
where Six Flags is. So Six Flags is going to be uh, da, 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 da. out there somewhere. Not too far away. I may be looking in the wrong spot, but it's somewhere out here. Um, that freeway right there, that's the five, and it goes right past it. Oh, there's Six Flags. I think you can see actually where it's trying to draw the uh, roller coasters. So that's Six Flags. And then here is um, where San, the San Fernando Valley starts. So as you turn into the Newhall Pass here, this is... Um, going to take us right into the approach pass of Van Nuys, which you can you can see the approach lights uh, blinking there for one six right, uh, and then we're going to uh, this is actually too steep of a turn. I don't know why I turned out that far. Uh, but there's three airports in the San Fernando Valley. You have Van Nuys, Whiteman, and then uh, Burbank. Those are the uh, the three airports they're pretty close together they all kind of have a service different uh, types of flying really uh, Whiteman which is right there you can see the complex um, right there it's where those those buildings are uh, that's a general aviation uh, lots of you know 172s flight schools a bunch of little planes a couple of warbirds some uh, tail draggers stuff like that um, then you've got Van Nuys, which is right here, and it is one of the busiest airports, um, general aviation airports in the world, uh, and that's counting charter commercial, uh, charter uh, private corporate air uh, travel as general aviation. So, extremely busy, uh, lots of jets going in and out of there all day long, um, unbelievably busy, but a lot of fun. Burbank also does some charter stuff, uh, but it is a Class Charlie airport, so it is it is very similar in function to John Wayne, where it's got a little bit of a um, little bit of charter, you know, a good amount of charter, I should say, and uh, commercial. Not very much GA stuff uh, based on the field. It will get GA operations, but not, um, you know, not the uh, Definitely not GA stuff like we have. I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, like we have a John Wayne. So it doesn't get quite as busy as John Wayne does. Uh, the Orbix scenery is on the Orbix app and it is very, very simple to use. It will download directly into your uh, Microsoft folder. And, um, you know, it is one more thing that you have to load up, but it is um, really easy to use. Yes, I do uh, train out of John Wayne, and I absolutely love it. Um, how long um, to get to your practice area for maneuvers? It's like right outside of the airspace. Um, practice area is not is not that far. There's a there's a couple of them uh, that we used, but uh, the main the main one is the El Toro practice area, and it's like five minutes five minutes away. Um, yeah, my training was was primarily in a 172. Started in a uh, in a PA 28, and then finished in a in a 172. And then now my more recreational flying is done in a in a, a PA 28, and the instrument training is done in uh, the same same 172. Um, which was which was used as a uh, photo ship today, which was kind of cool, uh, by a couple of couple of friends flying around. Um, yeah, and this is a 172. This is the, the Steam Gauge 172, which I prefer dramatically over, drastically over the, uh, the G1000 one. Uh, it's just, it looks so much better and is a lot, the functionality is a lot better. Well, this is San Fernando Valley. You got a ton of buildings, a ton of stuff going on here, and it is the frames have not really been impacted a lot. Uh, there's there's Van Nuys, looking nice and basic. That actually looks pretty good. 
Do they have the restaurant? I mean, yeah, of course they have the restaurant. Yeah, there's a restaurant with all those trees right there. Um, yeah, I'm I'm excited to check out this Burbank scenery kind of in more in more detail. Uh, this is some of the busiest airspace in the world right here. Um, it's unbelievable. If you're on SoCal in any of these sectors, it's just a non-stop. Um, it's, it's a nightmare, but it is uh, understandable considering, like I said, how, how many airports there are in here. The crossing approach for Burbank is pretty, pretty crazy as well, depending on what you're doing trans, uh, traversing this airspace. If you're coming from Camarillo, getting on the coastal route, uh, you've got to look out for these uh, Runway 8 arrivals into Burbank. If you're taking off from Van Nuys, if you're uh, descending into Van Nuys from further south, um, it's pretty. it gets pretty hairy coming through here because the, the Burbank arrivals pre-COVID um, just did not stop. Um, yeah, I, I hope that everything uh, holds, holds steady, man. So far, so good, though. Uh, I still need to uh, tweak the sensitivity settings. Damn it. So again, we're going to land on runway 8. I'm going to taxi off and go to the departure end of runway. I think it's 25 is the other, uh, is the other airport. Um, I don't have the 182, no, and I probably won't, won't get that one. Um, and then we'll take off from 25 and then come back to land and then check out the rest of the airport and see see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, you do have to be careful on 16 right. It's it's a tricky airspace as long as you're on flight following or whatever. Um, you know, it's it's not too bad, but it's just it's really really busy. Uh, the the standard pack is uh, sixty dollars random. Okay, yeah, this is this is looking great so far. This is really really looking good. We're looking good. Ah, oh, we're looking good. Uh, this scenery, I uh, twenty five dollars Australian, and I don't know what that translates into American, but I think it's about twenty bucks. It's so it's so sensitive. Uh, that discoloration, I don't remember that discoloration being there. The thousand footers. There's FedEx. Oh man, it is so touchy. Okay, coming up here. Flaps are coming up. Uh, replay would be really nice in this. Okay, so far this is immaculate. Did somebody just? I just saw like a shadow. <laughs> I don't know if somebody is like. Did I cause somebody to go around? Okay, so we turn off. Uh, onto Bravo here, and we're gonna go all the way down to uh, runway 15. I don't know why I was saying 25. So we're gonna stop, stop here, contact ground. Let's turn off the strobes. Strobe is coming off, mixture is coming back, flaps are up, and then we're gonna go and check out, um, check out the taxi here. Are the frames starting to drop again a little bit? It's showing okay on my end. Yeah, Streamlabs is looking okay. Is it? It was bad on flight, final getting better again, okay. All right, so there's Millionaire, and that looks awesome. We've got for some reason, a uh, caravan on floats. Millionaire looks really good. All of the hangers look, look nice as well. Got some transient guys. 
Okay, so a couple things I'm looking for here. Um, there is a, a turbine. Um, hey, we're at Rebel. We're going next. Buddy. Uh, Meister Moose, thank you so much for the two months. Um, thank you very much for the subscription, man. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, you know what? I have traffic on. I wonder if that is causing the frames to go down. The stream seems to be working okay, but the frames themselves actually do seem to be be going down here. Um, so we'll keep an eye for that. I do have I do have live traffic on, um, and it feels like it's a game frame rate, not a stream frame rate, which is I'll take that. So there's a little turbine. It's like a little I don't know how to explain it. It's just like a little windsock thing. It's a little turbine. It's just spinning. Um, and then there's also a movie TV car lot. So it's like a bunch of taxis and police cars and uh, just like stunt vehicles off to the left here. And then there is a fly quietly sign that's also at the end of, of this taxiway here as you're getting onto the runway. So I'm gonna look out for those details and see see if they exist. Runway textures look great. Um, the surrounding scenery looks looks amazing. Um, and I don't see that little turbine. I actually don't see it but this looks like it is the um, studio cars oh yeah there he goes yeah studio picture vehicles <laughs> look at all of them okay so that is awesome they're a little little cut and paste there but it is there I had seen that X-15 going to 5 million miles up a couple years ago. Just realized today it was you. Dude, that is really, really funny, man. Yeah, that, for some reason, that video, I think, has the most views out of all my videos. And I did that, like, I remember I had just downloaded uh, X-Plane, and I was screwing around with it. And, you know, it's like, hey, this would be kind of fun. I wonder how high you could go. Recorded that video, and it's got, like, 30,000 views or something stupid but that's really that's really funny man it was pre pre webcam too okay so we have the fly quietly sign at the end that is that is accurate good morning Finbar happy Friday morning Something that was kind of weird departing uh, runway 15 here at Burbank. Again, I don't know why I said 25. That doesn't make any sense. Um, when you're when you're lined up on the runway, the optical illusion is that when you're when you're looking out, it it looks like there are two buildings right in your way and that the mountain is really close. The minute you rotate and in climb like 50 feet um, it completely goes away and you realize how far away it looked but both um, both Q and I uh, noticed and commented on how weird it looked when we did that so you, let's see if we can spot that yeah the frames are really bad I think there's probably a bunch of people here with live traffic since uh, this was just downloaded. Uh, is there any... There's no way that we can turn that off, is there? Well, I guess we could if we if we really wanted to uh, be, be jerks about it. Um, what am I trying to do? I am trying to go here, and I am trying to do uh, offline. <laughs> just... Or is it only, does it let you? Okay, yeah, so that's just a, that's just your status. We'll set, we'll set it to busy. Okay, so that's not gonna help. All right, 
How long are you planning to keep flying? Um, for a while, space. Yeah, for a while. Flight, how's it going? Uh, GPB 500 is actually pretty pretty good. So yeah, okay. That is the building. I don't know if you can see that right out there. It looks like it's just right on the departure end of the runway. And then that mountain looks pretty damn close. All right, let's let her let's let her rip. Yeah, you do have to restart to uh, turn traffic off. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird that that little turbine thing didn't make it into this scenery. I'm gonna look for it again as we're departing and see if I just missed it, but I don't think I did. It was just on one of those uh, hangers. Yeah, it's not there. Well, that parking lot looks a little bit looks a little funky there to the left. But that one looks good. Trees look good there. There's Millionaire. Oh yeah, that looks that looks great. We got lasso in effect there. And there is the terminal. Wow, look at that. Alright, we're definitely gonna go check that out here in just a second. But that looks unbelievable. Now you can see how far away that building actually is when you're up in the air. And it looks like it's in the way before you're about to take off. It's ridiculous. I tried Googling Burbank turbine. Um, I will show you what I will show you what I mean in a minute here. Once once we re once we reset, I'll I'll show you what I mean. Um, the the GPB 500 X plane scenery did have it. Oh, it's got the little um, I can't I can never remember what that pad is called, but it's to prevent planes from running off into the road right there, uh, and it just recently was put to use. Uh, I think it was last November uh, that a, a Southwest flight skidded off the runway during a really bad rainstorm. Um, so that that does get used, and that was that was put in place because the plane did overrun the runway and go right into the E A E M A S. Thank you, Rebel. Um, so it's designed to break away and, and is basically it's basically like like a runaway truck. You've seen those ramps if you're going down a mountain hill, those like gravel ramps. So if your if your truck loses brakes, you just go into that. It's it's designed to break away and slow slow the plane down. That terminal looks freaking awesome. Alright, so we're gonna ask Burbank for a short approach. Looks unbelievably awesome. I mean, I mean this, all this terrain looks awesome. Alright, and we're going to dump it in here. First notch of flaps coming in. Yikes. Too fast, too fast. Slow it down. Slow it down. Oh man, I'm going way too fast. Why is it going so fast? Maybe we can land on runway 8. We'll land halfway down runway 8. All right, change of plans, Burbank Tower. We'd like a short approach for runway eight, please. <laughs> let's get let's get the the speed on the flaps to check here, and we'll get full flaps in. It did not work as planned. God, look at that! It looks so real. That is exactly what it freaking looks like driving into uh, Millionaire. Holy crap! That looks awesome. Sorry for anybody on the West US server trying to land at Burbank right now. <laughs> I, I do not remember the um, 
that discoloration on the runway. Does not look familiar. Okay, that is definitely somebody going around. <laughs> or taken off or something. But that's hilarious. Now where now where's he going? Here. Yeah, if you want, uh, if you want a quick taxi, fly into Burbank. They just pull right off the runway, basically, and go park. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I did, flight. <laughs> yeah, just dump all the flaps and get it, get it in the, uh, get it in the white white arc and go twenty and thirty. <laughs> Um, I'll actually I'll 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 shut her down here. That's fine. Avionics mixture. Whoa! Oh, is that like you've ended the flight? Oh, I was recommending. Oh, it's commending you. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Oh, thanks, Flight. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, how did I get the Cessna set up? Um, what do you mean, SimEdge? All right, let's check out the Burbank scenery properly here. Um, I have not flown out of Burbank in a while, so I can't really comment on the layout um, recently, like it has been a while since I flew commercially out of Burbank. Um, so we'll just look at this from a strictly, how does it look perspective and holy crap. It looks amazing. Oh, the G1000. Um, I have the premium deluxe mega gold triple edition one. Uh, I don't know if uh, I th yeah, I think yeah, the steam gauge is on the the premium the premium pack. Yeah, if you shut down at your airport, that's really funny. Okay, it's like what did I do? I didn't hit anything. So we've got some cars parked here. Oh, look at okay. All right, I see you, Orbix. I see what's going on here. This is hilarious. Let's dump it down here. So that that's not their fault, but Burbank Airport entrance. That's nice, but let's check out the Panda Express. Do they have this whole shopping center modeled? Panda Express, what do we got here? Subway, fish dish. All right, I don't really Starbucks. I don't some of these I don't really recognize. But I would imagine that they're probably real. Just smaller chains that... I mean, the valley is like it's a whole nother ecosystem. There's McDonald's. Oh, dude. Some Del Taco. How good is a Del Taco burrito sound right now? It sounds really good. And Denny's. Of course there's a Denny's. All right, so that is pretty amazing. Uh, you were at Burbank uh, last summer. Okay, sweet. Yeah, that is pretty impressive. I always wonder with this kind of stuff um, how important that is to model when you're just flying over it quickly. But it really does... Um, you know, it's like, it's like celebrities' writers. I don't know if you know what a writer is. Like, if a celebrity's in a green room, they'll, they'll have a list of stuff they want... Um, in their their room, My, uh, Julia used to do this all the time, and they would often put something goofy in there to see if you were paying attention. And this kind of stuff reminds me of that. Like if if it was, you know, um, you know, a Burger King instead of a McDonald's, you know, it's like okay, well, what else is what else is wrong, 
are missing. Uh, driving into the valley is like going to Mars. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is a weird, weird little microcosm for sure. That's freaking cool. Got valet parking. Yeah, this this is unbelievable. The APU is fired up. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Man, are you freaking kidding me? I don't know where that guy's going. Yeah, that that is just amazing. I don't I don't know how you zoom. I was trying to figure out how to zoom and it's I don't I don't know. Like dude, come on with and like the lens flare too just looks freaking awesome. Um yeah, this is a uh payware scenery and god it looks awesome. Uh, Catch Me If You Can was filmed here. Despicable Me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know, to be really nitpicky, it would be it would be cool if there was some movement. If the buses and, and there was some, like, cars moving around, uh, that would make it feel a little bit more alive. Everything as it is right now looks just awesome. It looks so good. And yeah, really, really fun. So since this is really like one of the few payware scenery options out there right now, I think this is going to be a nice little SoCal hub um, until we get John Wayne fixed. I I can't even um, can't even go. I can't even do John Wayne. It's so bad. Um, but this this is freaking beautiful yeah you can just see everything uh, on the other side of that mountain right there is the Hollywood sign um, Pasadena I mean it's just this is perfect it's absolutely perfect uh, so well done Orbix I'm, I'm excited for some other developers to get in on um, developing some scenery because I, I think that it's going to uh, TGA 111YT. Um, hopefully, I hopefully it's not supposed to be something else. But uh, thank you very much for following. Welcome aboard. Um, San yeah, John Wayne is really bad. It's terrible. Oh, the cam. How do you get the cam moving? Yeah, this is just the drone. The drone cam with the controller um, to be able to move around. Um, it's pretty awesome. Uh, cool Sax, Thank you very much for following. Welcome. Yeah, all this is great. I I wish there was some movement to it. Uh, static wise, though, it it is fantastic. So I wonder if you want to use any of these parking spots. If you spawn there, if they'll become available, or if those planes are are just always there. I love it. Rygorian, how's it going? Yeah, this is this is really great. This is beautiful. Okay, well, I definitely I definitely give this a buy <laughs> if I was rating it. Um, Burbank is a is a really cool airport. Uh, having just flown there for the first time, um, I was I just was like, man, I was blown away by how cool it was, um, both just like scenery wise. Airport operations wise, uh, surrounding environment, it's a really cool place to go uh, GA, to fly GA. So if you're in the SoCal area and you haven't been to Burbank yet, they've got a bunch of different uh, instrument approaches to try out. Really cool terrain, uh, great controllers. Uh, highly recommend this real life and now in the sim. I, I really recommend it. Who's here? I heard somebody, oh yep, somebody's firing up at the gate. 
<laughs> Someone's loading up at the gate. Yeah, all these. It's funny watching the uh, uh, the commercial planes land here and then just like basically turn off right into the gate. It's pretty good. <laughs> push. Uh, whoa, no, he's not going to push. He's just going to run. He's just going to murder those ramp agents, run into that Suburban, and take out that baggage loader. Dude, okay, let's see. What is he going to do? Is he going to take off? Or is he going to taxi and use the winds properly? Where is he going to go? No, right through the whole short line. Okay. Now, I didn't stop in a really good spot there, so that's not that's not his fault, really. <laughs> but I mean this is another plane that I'm able to hear and like watch taxi that's really cool alright so there you go there is the Burbank Orbic scenery I love it do you love it you'll probably love it too <laughs> um, 